Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan. Today we're going to do a video review of Super Imaginative Chogokin SIC Doris Red version. Actually, Doris is from Kamen Rider ZO. That was a movie way back when in 1993. This was actually made by Bandai back in 19 or 2005, so it's a fairly recent toy. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at the package as always. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Super Doris red version Bandai. I actually bought two of these because it looks pretty neat. And as you can see, it does come with a few extras, a chest piece, the antenna over here, and a chest piece that covers, as you can see, this chest is exposed, and I'll show you that. Two little power balls or something, a little stunted tail, uh, as you can see, has a tail behind them, and two open palms. As you can see, it's packaged with a fist and a huge tail, which I'll show you here in a minute. So that's the front of the package. Doris Red Version, Super Imaginative, Chogokin. I uh, see the back over here. As you can see, it's a limited version. It's quite detailed, and uh, that is a very nice close-up of it. And you can definitely see, as you can see over here, the little stubby tail. That's what that little, this little red piece is over there, if you just wanted to attach that. And I'll show you this in better detail, so you can see. There we go. Those are, that's what I'm talking about right there. There's a little balls and open fists. I already changed out one of the fists, so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. It is a seven inch figure, so we'll do a size comparison later. So let me take this out of the box over here. Oh, one thing is I forgot, it comes with this trippy, and I mean trippy, <laughs> Doctor Who looking backdrop. Anyways, back to the figure. And I want to show you the detailing because this is the main selling point of this. As you can see, it does have light piping. Yeah, if I can see that better, the eyes itself are light piped. So you can definitely see through them. And I just wanted to show you the extreme detailing. Now the antenna do pop off and that's one thing I don't like about it. But look at the little three dots on there. The jaw actually moves up and down so it's got a great paint detail. You can see the individual teeth on there. Jaw is hinged a little bit, so it does move up and down just a bit. So light piping, red, red, crimson red. Let's see, and I just want to show you the chest itself. The amount of detailing that they put onto this figure is just short of amazing. Uh, the thing is that it is pretty expensive, just like the other SICs. And look at the, red, the green and the red belt over here with a white or gray buckle has the tail the tail is long I'm not gonna lie to you look at the size of that tail now uh, it does swivel a little bit it's a plastic tail so you can bend it okay and uh, one thing I just wanted to mention is just look at the amount of detail McFarland toys themselves would be ashamed or rather envious of the amount of detail that uh, SIC has look at the paint I don't know if it's supposed to be that indigo color but absolutely they went all out with that look at the back over here i mean i'm going to gush about this because just the like i said the sheer amount of detail that they put into this intricate port is just i don't know amazing i know these things usually retail about 50 60 bucks so let's go ahead and i will show you one thing over here the chest does pop out just like uh, the other one over here and that's over just like that and i just wanted to put in one of these little balls if I can grab it because they're circular then let's see there we go and just pop that right in there oop and like I said one of the antenna do fall out so there it goes it fits nice and snug so it's kind of like a matrix of leadership and man I tell you what I can't gush about too much about that and I like I mentioned before the antenna do pop off so you got to be careful with that all right, let's go for the articulation. The head seems to be on a ball joint, but doesn't move too much. And as you can see, the neck does crane a little bit. Shoulder is on a ball joint. And here's the thing I don't like is that, man, the joints do pop off, even though they're all are jointed. Double jointed elbow. No bicep swivel, which is a downer. And I guess, hey, you can't have it all. You got a an ab crunch as well as a waist swivel. So you got you got pretty much that pretty good articulation there at the upper torso ball jointed hip but man it is stiff and you can barely move it double jointed knee but then again it doesn't bend too far 
uh, it's not bad for as stiff as these joints are as you can see the patella it is double jointed ball jointed ball jointed uh, ankle and that's it I wish it had a toe fillet or toe toe articulation but not, not to pass and as a such because of its articulation it it's basically like a hybrid between a PVC figure and an action figure now as I mentioned for our size there he is against Megatron there about he's about seven inches tall not a bad looking figure for what you get so I'm going to give him an eight out of ten so all I got youtubers and I catch you all next time